So I'm racing to the dentist right now. And I think I'm gonna be late. And then I was supposed to have another appointment before that this morning, which got moved and now I'm trying to fit that in. So I'm stressed about this gig tonight because I don't feel like I'm, I'm in good shape uh, right now. I mean, I've been practicing and stuff. I, I'm having a bit of a uh, struggle with reads, which is not a normal thing for me. Um, but I'm just stuck in between uh, some, I don't know what's going on, but it, everything feels wrong uh, on that end. And even though I've been, I woke up early this morning to practice and I, I've been putting in the time, I'm just not feeling good about the results, which happens sometimes. So I'm just trying to remind, remind myself to be positive and you know, about tonight. Tonight, playing is, playing is the fun part. It should always be the fun part. It's about the conversation. It's not about the necessarily the preparation that I've done. Um, I mean, obviously you want to be prepared, I want to feel prepared, but it's it's about having a conversation, a musical conversation, that's the fun part. So I just have to, I'm saying it out loud just to remind myself um, that's the most important thing. Have fun, listen, be present, good things will happen. Okay, dentist, check. All right, second appointment over with, and now I'm making my way through rush hour, Los Angeles traffic to try to get up to this club in Bel Air. Just look at the Medicaid expansion. It was estimated that we'd have 250,000. <laughs> good gig the first set was rough for me the read thing is bugging the crap out of me right now I don't normally have read issues but it, it, everything was just either too dry or too hard or I don't know what was going on but it made it uh, rough for me first set also told a band that had never played together before so you know the first set was about just trying to set let me turn this music off trying to settle in and gel but we, we got to we got there. Second set we got to some stuff. It was fun. Just trying to make sure you're you're open and being putting yourself in that place to take risks and be vulnerable and, and trust the musicians and trust the music and trust yourself. Easier said than done. But that's the point of all the practicing, right? I mean, practicing is just practicing. It's it's to get you to that point where you can where you can trust. Um, in yourself and in the people you're playing with. That's the point. That's where the music happens. Double double animal style with uh, a chocolate shake, please. Okay, would you like any fries? No fries, thanks. Uh, will you bring anything in your car? Probably part of it in my car. I'm sorry? I said probably part of it in my car, yeah.
Hudson, turn it on. Turn it on. Yeah, we're gonna listen to this one, right? Your favorite. Oh, what's going on? I haven't gotten a chance to practice today either because I've been so busy. We decided to do a live studio audience thing and we, it very last minute, but then I had to make like a button for my website for people to sign up and we charged like 15 bucks just so that we didn't want to, I would have done it for free, but then like people, you might have had people showing up and we could only accommodate a few people. Anyway, so this whole morning turned into like emails like, hey, we didn't get the, where is it? We bought the ticket, but I don't know where the studio is and like, this is what the majority of my day looks like. It's like one o'clock right now. And the last four hours have all been basically emails and setting up stuff for this recording tomorrow and details and yeah. Um, somewhere I gotta get some practice in. Yeah, buddy. So anyway, I haven't had a chance to touch the horn yet today and it is almost 6 p.m. But also check this out. I got this case back. This is the case for my SBA, which is a vintage mint condition Selmer super balanced action horn, beautiful horn. And for, I don't know, for a year or so now or more, the, the zipper had come off the back, this part, because this thing was so old and dried out that when I had unzipped it, it just ripped right through. But there's a master luggage repairman here in Los Angeles. He fixed actually my other saxophone case for me. And I just got this thing back today. I mean, look at this. These are so cool, like this is where the flute would go, and this is where the clarinet would go back in the day. Because you know, you had no business showing up to some gig with a saxophone and, and not having a flute and clarinet, right? Oh, hi. Hello. Yeah. 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 Oh, hi, Baba. So I'm gonna give all these reads their last shot before tomorrow's recording. See which ones get to come along and which ones go in the trash. Also, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to the members of the Fountain Hill Saxophone Quartet. I got a really nice card from them the other day and just wanted to let you guys know I saw it, I read it, I read all of your wonderful words in there. Thank you very much, that was very cool of you. Is it 20? Is that possible? Let's just see. Gotta be the way to track that. Or, you know what? I know what we can use. 